Hi, welcome to the Summertime is Reading Time program hosted by EIS. We are so glad to have you here with us. My name is Mr. Justin and I'm an engineering instructor here at EIS. EIS stands for the Elementary Institute of Science. For over five decades, EIS has provided hands-on learning experiences for students second through eighth grade here in San Diego via STEM-based curriculum. If you know what STEM stands for, tell the person next to you. If you don't, here it is. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And those are four very important words that we all love here at EIS. So you may be wondering what today's topic will be. Well, let me show you. What I have here is a straw clarinet. And you may be wondering how I produce those sounds from the straw. Well, first we have to understand some basic concepts as it relates to sound. First, let's demonstrate by placing your hands on your throat. And then we're gonna say a phrase real loud. Let me think of a phrase. Mm, how about science is cool? All right, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, Three, science is cool. You feel the vibrations on your hand and in your throat as you talk? Well, sound is a vibration that travels through a medium. For example, states of matter, we have a solid, liquid, and gas. Travel, sound can travel through all of those states of matter. Now, I wanna demonstrate using a plastic ruler. This is how can sound can travel through a solid. So what I'm gonna do in this demonstration is that I'm gonna place my finger on the edge of the ruler and as I move the ruler towards me, I'm going to basically keep vibrating the ruler to produce a sound. So I want you to notice how the sound changes as I'm moving the ruler. Ready? Okay, here we go. All right, now think about this. How many of you can picture the ocean right now? What is something that you see when you look at the ocean? One thing you can definitely see is waves. Similar to the ocean, sound travels in waves. So what I have here is a diagram showcasing a sound wave. So here we have an ear and we have a speaker here. But for the purposes, we're gonna be using an instrument to provide sound. But in this case, the speaker provides the sound. As you can see, wave travels towards the ear. Now. The distance between the crest or the top of the wave, so you can see here, so these are the top of the wave, this is the bottom of the wave. So the distance between the tops of the waves is the wavelength. Sound waves with shorter wavelengths cause our eardrums to vibrate with greater frequency. That is more vibrations per second or higher pitch. Sound waves with longer wavelengths have lower frequencies and produce lower pitch sounds. In musical instruments such as a clarinet, sound starts at the mouth where air blowing past either the musician's lips through a mouthpiece. Blowing through the mouthpiece produces a range of sound frequencies. Remember, sound frequencies are vibrations per second. Now here's the fun part. Now you all get to make your own straw instrument. For this activity, we'll be making your own straw clarinet. But first, you will need straw, scissors, make sure you have an adult around for safety, a ruler, and good old lung power to produce those great sounds. So once you have your materials, let's get to work. So first, grab your straw and your ruler, and then have your scissors close by. Next, lay down your ruler, and then you're going to lay down your straw, and then you're going to measure about an inch from your opening to where your fingers are, and then you're gonna pinch, okay? And then what you're gonna do is that you're going to use your hands, and you're gonna to try to make that area that we just pinched down flat much as you can, okay? Now, next, we'll make a cut in the shape of a V. So this is an important step since this is a part of the instrument that produces sound and causes vibration. So I'm going to demonstrate this, okay? So we still have our finger pinch there, and then we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut, cut up. Then you're going to rotate your straw, then cut again, and then now you have an opening. See that here? Now, this is where we're gonna need your lung power. So, we're gonna test the sound of our straw instrument from the cut that we just made. Okay, I want you to notice the sound that's made, okay? But can we make any changes to produce different sounds? Of course we can. Now, this time, we're gonna create small holes to change the sound and pitch of our device. The closer, now, actually, this is pretty interesting. The closer the hole is to our mouthpiece, the shorter the column of vibrating air and the higher pitch that is produced by the instrument. So what we're gonna do for our next step is that we are going to take our ruler again and right where we have our opening to our straw, what we're going to do 
is that we're going to measure approximately one inch from our opening and then we're going to actually create another bend in our straw okay we're going to do a pinch and then we're going to just bend our straw this way okay we're going to pick up our scissors and we're going to cut a small corner of our straw okay so now you can see we have one small hole now let's test our instrument again and see if there's a difference in the sound produced hmm maybe i have to find a good spot let's try that again oh surprising okay so let's see if we can add another hole so we're going to do the same thing where we're going to measure one inch away from our first hole okay so you're going to get your ruler again going to measure one inch okay and then do that you're going to pinch you're going to bend then you're going to cut off a small corner and now you have two okay so what we're going to do is that we can test this out again and see if we produce a different sound ready hmm different sound now with this in mind now you all can create multiple straw clarinets with different lengths straws of different thicknesses and different holes cut in different places so how does each clarinet vary in sound and pitch try playing a well-known song such as twinkle twinkle little star that's all for our activity. Thanks for hanging out with me and hope you learned something. I know I did. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.